Hey y'all, Jeremy from Black Collar Arms here. Thanks for joining me. I am out with our forged carbon fiber scope mount. I actually recorded an intro to this video earlier, but then I got way into the weeds about what makes the forged carbon fiber so cool, how it's more rigid than steel and stronger than titanium and all this other stuff. I moved that to the end of the video so we can skip right now to the really exciting things, which is the torture testing. Because as I'm out here with my COVID beard and wondering, hey, is this carbon fiber scope mount the weak part of my scope or optic mounting system? And the answer, without a doubt, unequivocally, is no. Your scope is weaker than the scope mount. The bolts that hold, the steel bolts that hold your Picatinny rail to your steel Remington 700 receiver, weaker than the scope mount. And we're going to show you by hitting it with a four pound steel mallet right now. Scope mount, it might not cure coronavirus, probably does cure celibacy, but what it will do, is hold your scope with that kung fu grip and retain zero under any condition and if you do something really stupid like you're about to see it's the last thing that's going to break in your system so let's let's do it four pound steel sledgehammer. I think I'm just gonna go for the uh, side of the scope, you know? See what, see what happens? Whoops. Oh yeah, that left quite the dent in the turret. <laughs> Good Lord. Bipod might break. Right. All four bolts just pulled out of the top of the receiver. It's a factory Remington receiver. Bolts are metallic Picatinny rail. Those are steel, torque to spec with Loctite. Um, right. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, that scope has taken a cant. And man, is it damaged. Mount is still gripping the rail. Screws are inside of it, just didn't shear them off. Oh yeah, there's no, it just tore the threads clean out. Mount looks good. Scope hasn't moved. Scope is, uh, it's not, it's not okay. Four pound, steel sledge, no screws left in the receiver. And we have one scope and a really, really sexy carbon fiber scope mount that, like we've been saying, is a lot stronger than a scope. This tube will bend and look like a freaking banana before anything happens to this scope mount. Well, I guess I'm going to go back to the office. I'm going to take a steel Picatinny rail and screw it to a railroad tie or something and uh, yeah, continue beating on this thing and just banana this poor, poor scope. Oh my gosh. Pulled that wood screw right out. Son of a bitch. Good lord. Gonna hammer it back in. Right. The scope mount's not going anywhere. Wood screw snapped off. It's gone. This one pulled out. That one snapped. We have a turret that is just completely broken. Smashed that guy a couple times. It is sideways bent. The turret is screwed up. The front of the scope is dented in really, really badly. I was trying to break the glass, but I couldn't quite get there. It's dented on the sides. It's dented on the bottom. One of those hits when it was on the rifle actually flexed it badly enough that that hit the barrel, dented the bottom of that. Uh, the top is just destroyed. 
What else? Um, I mean, it hit the ring. I smacked this bottom scope ring a bunch of times or a couple of times pretty freaking hard. It popped this thing off the wood, did absolutely nothing to the carbon fiber. I don't even see a scuff. There was some dirt, but it wiped off and nothing is left. This scope has not moved a millimeter inside of here, even though I hit it on the front repeatedly, both here and in my prior testing. And I mean, dude, it's 100%. It's 100% and it's going nowhere. Good Lord. Ugh. I mean, come on, that is impressive. I've got a bend in the aluminum of my Picatinny rail. I have no bends, Ugh. no damage in that scope mount. Oh, this thing. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, I think we've got a problem. Sorry, Bushnell. This is a fine scope. It's an engaged, it's not a cheap scope. This is a quality scope. When I was doing my initial testing just to see how well this gripped on the scope tube, I was smacking the front of the scope really hard with the mallet. I did not get it to shift in the mount, torque completely to spec whatsoever, but I broke the inner workings of the elevation turret. Um, now, obviously, we have a completely broke, oh, I fixed it. Uh, mostly broken scope. What we don't have is a scope mount that has suffered any damage. Thanks for watching, folks. It's gonna wrap it. Hope you enjoyed. I certainly had fun and got a workout. And we'll catch you next time. Please subscribe to the channel. Hopefully we won't destroy anything in the future, but we're gonna do some tutorials and other things. So hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Hey guys, Jeremy from Black Collar Arms here. Thank you for joining me. This is not one of our guns today. Uh, and that is because what I'm showing off is this carbon fiber scope mount that we are selling. It is manufactured by a company named McVick. In the near term future, we're going to be coming out with some more products that are made from forged carbon fiber collaboration designs between us and McVick. The idea of forged carbon fiber, which was created by Lamborghini and Callaway Golf is just like forging metal, it is compressed under extremely high pressure and temperature, and it creates a carbon fiber grain structure and carbon fiber structure that has more fibers than your typical carbon fiber, and it has structural rigidity in every single possible direction. More so than forged metal, in fact, it has less of a directional grain structure, and it is extremely, extremely strong, as well as lightweight. Now this first product is not really geared towards lightweight. What it is, is the most rigid scope mount on the market. It has wide rings, it has a solid one piece base, it has big lugs for the Picatinny rail, dual lugs underneath that go into the Picatinny rail, and it is just extremely strong, a lot of clamping surface area. This competes with those high-end mounts designed for uh, extreme hunting use, kind of heavy duty, beat it up military type use, uh, extreme long range PRS stuff. Mounts that are usually in the 10 to 14 ounce range just for the mount, whereas this guy's 5.2 ounces. Now we could go a lot lighter, but if we made this exact design, machine the same thing from steel, it would weigh in that range of 14 ounces and it would not be any stiffer than this carbon fiber mount. This carbon fiber mount is about three times stiffer than aluminum and if we machined it from titanium, it's actually lighter than titanium, but it's stronger than titanium. This stuff is absolutely freaking amazing. Lamborghini's using it in structural components of their cars, like the swing arms, the A-arms, and the suspension and such. Callaway uses it for the heads of their drivers. Boeing uses it. A bunch of companies are going to forge carbon fiber, mostly for structural applications, where they can get more strength than making it in metal, including forged metal, yet save on the weight. It's extremely resistant to changes in temperature, and because of the constant tension that it puts on the hardware, there's no risk of the hardware coming loose. You don't need lock washers or anything weird like that. It's constantly pressing on them, um, sort of like a spring effect, although, again, it's insanely rigid. It still has a little bit of that pushback, and it keeps your hardware 
locked in place. It keeps your stuff zeroed, whether you're out in negative 10 degrees hunting in Wyoming, and then you come down here in Texas in the direct sun, like right now where it's 102. Uh, really, really, really awesome stuff. And oh my gosh, does it look cool. But I know what you're thinking. I don't know forged carbon fiber. What is this? Is it brittle? Is it strong? So that's what I'm going to do on video today is beat this guy up. I've got this scope on the gun because when we first checked these out from McVic, I wanted to see if it held zero and I was bashing on this guy with a mallet. Uh, the scope didn't move. Everything was fine up until the scope broke. I actually appear to have broken the threads and the elevation adjustment no longer functions. It's completely trash. So I'm going to drop this and I am going to beat it with a mallet. And I am hoping to show you and expecting to show you because McVic has done a bunch of this testing that the scope is going to bend before anything happens to this mount. Uh, I think the rail might actually break off of the receiver even before that. And then I'm gonna have to bolt it to a railroad tie or something. Um, carbon fiber is, forged carbon fiber is just stupid, extraordinarily strong. It is ultimately not as hard and doesn't flex as much as steel. So if this were to take a direct impact from something really hard like steel, it might chunk a little bit. Um, but of course it's protected by the turrets of your scope. And if it's dropping that hard to where you're going to chip this, you are breaking your scope, possibly your rifle, snapping the bolts that hold the rail to the gun. And yeah, no more blabber for me. Let's go ahead and beat the crap out of this old Remington that I borrowed from Chris, Black Collar's co-owner. Uh, took it out of the office. I hope he doesn't mind. Chris, it's going to science.